Inga and I wanted to uh, work remotely. COVID came and we couldn't do anything. I had just gotten laid off, so I had a little bit of money saved, and we thought, well, we could maybe buy a school bus and we could convert that. Kids. What's safer than a school bus yeah. for carrying children? Exactly. So. <laughs> Went on to GovDeals.com, found a bunch of school buses, won the, a bit out of Tennessee, flew up to Tennessee, and uh, drove it home. <laughs> Never drove a school bus before. Of course, there's a little bit of a risk. It was terrifying. Um, we have no construction experience. We have no skills. No marketable skills as far as uh, working on things, but YouTube has everything. So we literally learned everything from YouTube. Started with cleaning everything, and then we what do we do? Ins uh, uh, insulate the floors. I would say insulation being the biggest thing that we wanted to make sure we did really well, because especially for people living in them full time, you want to make sure you have a safe place to live. And so once we got that knocked out, then walls started coming back up. Um, the pretty things going in, like the cabinetry, the, yeah. the quartz stone in the kitchen. Uh, we bought um, six 210 watt panels that are on the roof. We've got four 100 amp hour batteries. So basically the batteries are the storage for the power that the, that the solar panels bring in. I think the goal behind this is we don't plan to stay in RV parks if we don't have to. We plan to stay on free public land. Just be able to stay off grid as long as possible. Um, and then also not spending daily rent lot fees in RV parks and just exploring our nation. The plan is we're going to start at mile marker zero in Key West and then we're going to just go north. If I had my druthers, I think we'd make our way up north, be in Vermont, New Hampshire, sort of during that August time frame. So we're catching some of that beautiful New England warm weather and then start heading west. You know, we don't know how it will fare in the colder weather, but if we can make it up to the mountains and go snowboarding and skiing. I've never fished before. I don't even know how to fish, so I thought, you know, I'd be cool to park up by a lake with my son and learn how to fish together. A big part of this is we're not meant to live inside 24-7. The goal is you sleep here and then you're out exploring all day. We're not putting a TV in here, um, so give us, you know, an opportunity to learn and see the world, see the states, and see the, see the sites. Our initial goal is to be on the road for at least one year in the school bus conversion, but from there we would, once borders open up, we still want to make it to Southeast Asia and travel while the kids are young. We're redefining our life, right? So that's, you know, it's a life by design, something that we wanted to make sure we were doing for ourselves, and it was intentional, it was purposeful. Anybody can do that. It's it's hard to, to shift that mindset sometimes. Work, work, I have to. Do work. Of course we do. We have to make money. But at the same time, we have to live our lives because we don't know what tomorrow brings. Uh, and I've been paying to outsource my parenting and I wanted to insource that. I want to bring it in in-house and, and take care of it and spend time with my kids. And sure, that's going to be hard. We're going to find challenges. Five people in a 280 square foot bus is going to be unique for sure.